Okay, a lot of people seem to be having trouble with this little jewel thief circuit, so I, I went ahead and built another one. I just grabbed a toroid. Uh, this is a black toroid, and it is magnetic. Uh, take two pieces of wire, different colors, and just wind ten turns around your toroid, and then take the start of one color and the end of the other color and twist them together and solder them. That's going to go to the battery positive only. Okay. And then take the one end of the coil, go through a 1K resistor to the base of a 2N3904 transistor. Okay. And then take the other end of the coil and go to the emitter of the transistor and the anode of the LED and take the cathode of the LED to the collector of the transistor and then this is going to go to the negative of the battery. And that's it. That's the whole circuit. Okay, so now here's a battery. This is, uh, this would be considered to be a dead battery if I take the voltmeter and measure it like that. Oh, how am I going to do this? Um, okay, let's see if I hold that like that. And I hold this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, if I hold those together like that, like that, then show you the voltmeter. Can you see that? Okay, 1.24 volts, right? Well, not battery. Uh, sorry about the light. Okay, so that battery is is 1.24 volts. Now. Uh, as I said before, let's see here. Okay, so that's where the positive of the battery goes. That's the anode of the LED. That's the cathode of the LED. So if I just take the, the same battery and I touch it uh, to the anode of the LED, you can see that the LED does not light, but if I touch it to the jewel thief terminal, the coil terminal, it does light. Okay, so the battery is not capable of lighting the LED on its own, but let me try this. What's happened here? Okay. So, as the jewel thief, it lights up fine. Right. But if I just go directly to the anode, it doesn't light. So there's clearly not enough juice in that battery or voltage in the battery to light the LED, right? Okay, so... It's not a real sophisticated circuit. <laughs> and frankly, I didn't even think it would work with a red LED, but it does. Um, okay. Let's see if I have an, an even lower battery in here. is still good, 1.4 volts. Or, uh, I thought I had a bunch of dead batteries, but these are all actually not dead. That one's 1.24 volts too. Oh, that one's got to be dead. Let's see. 
1.27. Ah, all these batteries are too good. One point one nine, one point five six. That one's still good. That's a good battery. Okay, this is a double A. It says one point one nine on my voltmeter. And as you can see, it's it does just fine. Lights up that LED, but it can't light it up directly to the anode. Okay, thanks for watching. Good luck.